Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and printing on fabric can be easy, quick, fun, addicting, and we can make a lot of different things with those photos on fabric. Before we print on fabric, the fabric does need to be treated or stuck onto something so that it can go through a printer. There are formulas where we can treat the fabric and then iron our fabric into something like a paper in order for it to go through the printer. And that little treatment makes sure that our ink stays on that fabric. But we can get fabric already treated and already stuck onto the paper and that way it's going to go through the printer very easily. There's no raw edges, it's attached really well, it's quick, it's easy. The fabric is already treated, so there's nothing to do but go to our printer and print. So today I'm going to be using the fabric sheets from Electric Quilt. And I do have a sample pack here. So I have six sheets, two of each different fabric that they have. So I'm going to make three different reading pillows. These reading pillows are going to be very simple. We just take a photograph, put it on the fabric, turn it into a pillow with a little pocket in the back. So whoever is reading can put that book in that pocket and know where it is the next time they go to get it. And I'm going to be doing this for my grandchildren for Christmas. So I'm going to do three different pictures and I'm going to use one of each of those fabric sheets so we can see the difference. The first thing we need to do is get our pictures. Now we can use a photocopier and photocopy right on top of these fabric sheets. So you can get a whole pile of pictures, put them on a sheet of white paper, put it on your printer, and then just put this fabric sheet in and it's going to transfer the pictures. If you have a picture from your computer, you can pull that over right to your printer just like you would any Word document. When we do print on this fabric, I would recommend that you change your settings on your printer to the best quality that you can get. A lot of times we'll put it on a draft to save some ink, but this time we want more ink. We really want to have as much color as we need on this fabric. Once we have the best quality done, take out all of your regular paper and put in one sheet at a time. The paper is about the thickness of three pieces of paper because we do have a paper back and that fine fabric. So there's a little area on your printer that you can choose thick paper. So you might want to do that on your printer. Other than that, just push print and this is going to go through just like a sheet of paper. There's nothing that's going to get hung up and we're going to end up with some beautiful pictures. Let me show you the three pictures that I've chosen and then we'll look closely at the different papers. Because I'm making reading pillows, I do have pictures of my grandchildren reading. So this is going to be the front of the pillow. The pockets will be on the back. All of the fabrics need to be printed with an inkjet printer. And if you're not sure if yours is an inkjet printer or not, the thing will be the heat. If you print a page and it feels warm, that is a laser printer. And we do not need that. We just need a very simple inkjet printer. And I have probably the cheapest one on the market. And they still did beautiful pictures. And of course, if you don't have an inkjet printer, you can always take them to a printing company and they'll print them for you. So I have three different fabric sheets. At a quick glance, they do look the same. They are a beautiful, soft, white cotton. The difference of these sheets will be the thread count. Just so that we can see the difference, I've placed the photos underneath those fabric sheets. And you can see through some more than the other, and that is the weave or the fabric count of each sheet. This is labeled number B, and that particular fabric sheet has a 200 thread count. It's perfect for quilts, for pillows, 
scrapbooks, anything that you really want, this is a very good all-purpose sheet. The next fabric sheet is a 240 count. This would be considered a premium cotton lawn fabric. So we do have more threads per inch. This is a little bit softer than the 200 count. It's still great for quilts and heirlooms and really anything that you want to quilt. Because it's nice and soft, it can also be quilted by hand. The premium cotton is a 283 thread count and it's considered a satin cotton and because we have a higher thread count this is going to be more durable so if you're going to make tote bags pillows t-shirts anything that's going to take a little bit more abuse the higher thread count is definitely the better sheet both the premium and that satin fabric do come in these eight and a half by eleven sheets you can get them in packs of 6 or 25. The cotton basic one, you can get 8.5 by 11, 11 by 17, and you can get it on a roll. So it's 13 inches by 19 inches. So you could do a banner. And you can also get them in 6 packs or 25 packs. Once we have these printed, we do need to let that ink dry and set on this fabric. So you'd be looking at about 15 minutes. After that, we get to peel off that paper. To peel off that paper, just put this between your fingers. And if you do that, the one side will separate. So we're going to be able to peel that off. And even though this is considered a paperback fabric, it is not paper. It is this very thin product and that's what makes it go through the printer so well. So I could just peel that right off. And I now have that beautiful soft fabric. This first one is that basic fabric. It still has a lightweight feel to it. You can see it is a little bit thicker, which makes it good for just about anything. The second one was that premium. So it feels thinner, which means we're going to be able to quilt this really easily. And we look at the back, you can see the difference. This last one, it is a heavier fabric. And you can see how that thicker one definitely has a different drape to it. Now that the back has been taken off, we need to just soak this in a little bit of water. The water is just going to take out any extra ink. Now if you have distilled water, it's really nice to use distilled water for this. But if you don't have distilled water, you can use regular tap water or even a filtered water would work. And you only need it to be at a room temperature. So I have just a little bit of water in here. It's room temperature. I'm going to take that fabric sheet and put it in. I'm going to leave it flat, but just give it a little rub with my fingers. What I want is to make sure that there's no extra ink sitting on top. And we need to just leave it in there for 10 minutes. If you find that you've used a really dark red and you have some dye coming out in the water, you can put just a little fabric softener in that water. It's going to help that but we just need to let it sit for 10 minutes. This fabric has already been pre-treated for us, so this is all we're going to have to do. And while that's soaking, I'm going to start to get my fabric ready. I will be using pillows that are already pre-made, and in this particular one, it's just considered a crafter's pillow. And it's a 14 inch square. The sizes are going to vary depending on the size of the pillow that you have. I am using a 14 and a half inch square, so I will need for the pillow back two pieces of fabric a half inch bigger than that. So I have 14 and a half inches and another 14 and a half inch. We will need two of these because one will be folded in half and be placed along the back 
and that's going to become a pocket. So these will be my three backs. Those fabric sheets have been soaking for a good 15 minutes. I'm just going to take them out and place them right on top of a towel. And smooth out any of those edges that want to roll. I have no dye in that water. And you can see how beautiful those pictures are on that fabric. I'm just going to put another towel over top. Peek underneath, make sure all of my pages are flat. And we can blot those dry. If you're super impatient like me and really want them to dry fast, turn those pictures over onto that towel and iron them from the back side. And you can see I have no ink coming off of those fabric sheets at all. I will be making that 14 and a half inch pillow, so I need to put borders on these to make them 14 and a half inches. And we're going to just treat this like regular cotton fabric. So I have my front cut at 14 and a half inches. I have a back at 14 and a half inches. And I have a second piece at 14 and a half inches and just iron that right in half. This pillow is going to be made so it can be washed. So we need to take that solid background fabric and at that bottom fold it a quarter inch and then fold it another quarter inch and stitch down. So this will be a half inch smaller on that one side. Once that little rolled hem has been done we have one row of stitching and the pillows are going to be done. And it might be easier if we just lay them out this way first. This is how the pocket is going to be. I do want to see that particular print. So the right side and the right side of the pillow front are going to go together and we're going to be able to match up that bottom edge. The back piece will now get flipped over but we're going to match up the three edges because this is not going to match up. It will be shorter. And this is where we're going to be able to turn that pillow right side out. And there'll be no hand stitching this closed. The opening will be inside the pocket, so we can always wash this whenever we need. Now we need to stitch all the way around using a quarter inch. We've gone all the way around, and by rolling this bottom piece, we did not catch it in the seam allowance. So we're going to be able to turn this right side out. When we turn it right side out, that pocket is going to want to sit in the front. We're going to be able to just flip that to the back. We do want to press this before it goes in the pillow form. Now that this is all pressed, we're going to be able to put that pillow in. Take this pocket and turn it so it faces that front picture. And that gives you the opening to slip your pillow in. Once that pillow's in, we get to flip that pocket to the back. Once the pillow's done, it's set to put a book in. But these are easy to take out and wash. And they are really easy to make. And since my son-in-law did write a child's book, I will be sure to put one in each of the pockets. Now they're ready for story time. Having these fabric sheets already done for us really makes it quick, easy, and addicting. Boy, we can do a lot of things by printing on fabric. We could even print a fabric on a fabric if we didn't have enough fabric for the project that we were working on. We could print children's artwork and of course once everything's printed the sky's the limit on what we're going to be able to make with them. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out these fabric sheets and thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.